Yes, what you see. Iceberg, right ahead! Thank you. Iceberg, right ahead! On the starboard! starboard! This is Yarl town where Jack Foley was born and grew up as the storekeeper aboard RMS Titanic and uh, a very heroic man and is immortalised here in Yarl town in County Cork for what he done for all those poor people aboard the Titanic and saved a lot of lives and is remembered here in his hometown of Yall. We all heard about the movie The Titanic, the story of Jack Dawson, but Jack Foley was the real hero and is remembered and not forgotten by the lovely people of Yall. John, also known as Jack Foley, was born at Muckridge in Yall, County Cork, on 14th of September 1865. He was the son of Nicholas Foley, a labourer and later a coachman, and Nora Broderick, natives of County Cork and Watford. Raised in a Roman Catholic household, he had two known siblings, Kate and Michael, and by the early 1870s, the family were living at Tallow Street in Yall. He was married in Kinsale, County Cork, on the 1st of September 1894 to Mary Minnie Murphy, daughter of fishmonger Morris Murphy. At the time, he was still living in Yall, but his bride was a resident of Kinsale. John and Minnie had seven children. Morris, Nora, Mary Ann, Nicholas, Catherine, Margaret and John. In 1907 the family moved to Southampton, England. John, better known as Jack, initially signed on to the Titanic in Belfast for her delivery trip on the 25th of March 1912 as a quartermaster. When he signed on to the Titanic in Southampton on the 6th of April 1912, he gave his address as 2 Queen's Road, Southampton. But this time he would be serving as a storekeeper. His previous ship was the Olympic and his wages were £5 per month. Shortly after the collision on the 14th of April, he and lamp trimmer Samuel Hemming went to investigate a hissing sound emanating from the vicinity of the forward area under the forecastle head. They removed the hatch of the storeroom and went down to see if the ship was making water. Going down as far as the tank top, but the ship seemed sound. Ascending to the forecastle again, Hemming determined that the hissing sound was coming from an exhaust pipe coming from the four peak tank. They encountered Chief Officer Wild and told him of the situation regarding the tank, but explained that the storerooms were dry, with the Chief Officer saying, all right, before walking away. He and Hemming then went back to their bunks and went to sleep. It is believed he worked on helping prepare several of the portside boats before he and Hemming worked on getting lifeboat four lowered flush with a deck. Helping a seaman, Sam Parks, search for an axe to chop away the sounding spar protruding directly below lifeboat four. Foley helped man lifeboat four and several crewmen 
jumped into the water and swam towards this boat shortly after it was lowered. One of them, Hemming, spotted Foley in the boat as he was trying to pull himself aboard and shouted, Give us a hand in, Jack, to which Foley replied, Is that you, Sam? Foley and some other of the boat's occupants helped pull Hemming aboard. Jack Foley is or was a storekeeper on the ill-fated ship and Parks was a quartermaster. They were the men selected to man the boat containing Mrs. Astor. In thinking about the affairs, tears welled into Foley's eyes as he recounted the experience of his boat load. He said, It took us some time to launch number four, the last boat to launch. Jack Foley and his other seamen were heroes on that ill-fated night in 1912 and saved up to 50 people aboard the Titanic disaster. Foley was not required to testify at either the US or British inquiries into the sinking. He returned home and signed on to the Oceanic on the 10th of July 1912 but failed to join the ship when it sailed. Jack Foley continued to live in Southampton with his family and he continued working at sea, later serving aboard Majestic. He was made a widower when his wife passed away in 1922, aged 52 years old. John himself later lived at two Oriental Terrace in Southampton and passed away on the 18th of September 1934, following a stroke. He is buried in an unmarked grave at Hollybrook Cemetery, Southampton. His estate, worth £180, 14 shillings, was left to his unmarried daughter, Mary. Just over here, this is the Chamber of Tourism office here in Yall Town. This is the plaque that was erected. It says Jack John Jack Foley, born in Yall in 1865. Jack was a storekeeper on the RMS Titanic during her tragic sinking on April the 15th, 1912. He assisted women and children into lifeboats and helped crew lifeboat number four that saved over 50 lives. Jack died in Southampton in 1934. That's a beautiful plaque. Jack Foley. You can see the Titanic. And the man himself. The hero, Jack Foley. So there's an old shop just down the street here and the shop is closed but I just want to show you a little memorial the people made for Jack Foley and uh, in front of the window of the shop there's some photographs and stuff remembering the remarkable story about Jack Foley. This is the old shop that's now closed. And on the shop window front, we have a picture of the Titanic. Pictures courtesy of the Mulcahy family. You can see all the people in the photographs. The Titanic. Picture of Jack with his grandchildren in Southampton. The hero of the day, Jack Foley. The real Jack Dawson, he's known as. That's Tallow Street in the 1900s. 
Yol. And the plaque of John Jack Foley. And it's a beautiful little setup they've done here for Jack.